Good morning on this Monday morning, the 28th day of March, and uh, temperatures are in the low 60s this morning. I hope you had a nice Easter, by the way. I think uh, tomorrow morning at this time, we will be considerably cooler, maybe 20 degrees cooler than we are this morning. When I woke up this morning at 2.54 a.m., it was completely socked in with fog here. It's a little bit better now, but I think you're going to run into patches of locally dense fog in spots this morning on your morning commute. Keep that in mind. A couple of quiet days and then maybe some unsettled weather, mid to late week, maybe even some severe weather. We'll talk about it here on your morning weather briefing. Hey, there's a quick peek at the under construction Blue Water Weather Center. It's a work in progress, but it's coming along. I'll take you inside there in about two minutes. Meanwhile, we have patchy, dense fog in portions of central and south Alabama that could slow you down this morning. You see that blue line? That's the cold front that's going to be moving through by about, let's say, mid to late morning. By 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it's around Tallahassee, Florida. So we see big improvement during the afternoon hours. So we'll say some morning clouds and fog. I think the showers are out of here now. Clearing skies by this afternoon, high around 75. Tonight's low 44. Northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour behind the front. And a big change tomorrow morning. We'll be about 20 degrees cooler tomorrow morning. A cool start, but a great day. I think Tuesday's the best day of the week. By Wednesday midnight, showers and thunderstorms moving in from the west. That's a strong frontal system. In fact, a slight risk of severe weather into Mississippi on Wednesday. And then through Thursday morning, a marginal risk into southwest Alabama. And the Storm Prediction Center has just added a severe weather risk on Thursday for much of central and south Alabama. So we'll be watching the weather on Thursday. Showers and thunderstorms will be strong. Here's 1 o'clock on Thursday across the area. That's a juicy air mass. Temperatures will be upper 70s to around 80. Dew points will be in the 60s. By uh, Friday morning, there's still some showers and thunderstorms ongoing across the area as a secondary disturbance tries to move in. So much of uh, Friday will be wet at times. Saturday morning, maybe a leftover shower early. I'll leave a 30% chance in, but I think much of the weekend it's going to be pretty nice. A chilly start on Sunday morning, but a sunny, cool day with a high around 71. Here we go for the week ahead. We're in the uh, 70s just about every day, but on uh, Thursday we'll tease 80. 80% 80 chance of storms on Thursday. Some leftover rain on Friday. And then uh, we'll put in a 30% chance of showers early in the day on Saturday. Then it looks like, uh, according to the European, the coolest mornings will be tomorrow morning and also on Sunday morning. In fact, uh, Sunday morning will be... Pretty chilly. Uh, storm system, you see the blue bars there. That'll be the uh, unsettled weather from late Wednesday into early Saturday morning. And then you can see on the GFS, they're printing out 44 degrees for Sunday morning. That'd be the coolest morning. Then we will recover later on next week. I'm here at Blue Water Broadcasting in this room right here. This room, this is the brand new weather center. It's uh, definitely a work uh, in construction right now. There's a lot of wires. There's a lot of equipment being hooked up here. There's a lot of stuff still not in here. There's going to be a big screen TV over there. So we'll be broadcasting live on the radio stations when there's severe weather, of course. But also we'll be broadcasting live to your computer. There's a television camera right there. And we'll also be broadcasting on your smartphone. So this is like, uh, think of this as a weather center, it is. Or a TV studio, it is that too but I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in this room. Obviously the number one primary reason for the weather center slash studio is to stream live coverage during severe weather events, but that's not the only time you're gonna see that studio. There'll be other remote broadcasts out of there uh, on routine weather days as well. And will these videos go away? I get that question all the time. Oh my gosh, no. A lot of you depend on these videos and rely on them and uh, I'll still get up in the middle of the night and before, way before you hear me on the radio every morning, I'll be putting out a video for you. And I'll be live all throughout the morning on various morning shows, on News Talk 93.1, on Bama Country, WBAM, on KISS FM 96.1. So you'll hear me live all morning long and you'll hear my weather all day long on the radio. You'll have more access to my weather than ever before. And it all starts on Monday morning, April the 4th, right here. Rich Thomas Weather.